Hello you amazing hackers, great having you back again. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about bypassing file extension filters. We're going to be using a null byte uh, to do that and I'm going to demonstrate on the, fer and on the two shop made by OWASP. So what I'm going to show you guys is we have this FTP folder that we found. In this FTP folder we have several files, for example acquisitions.md, legal.md, and all of these MD files can be downloaded. But we also have some other files, such as, for example, the backup file. But when we try to open this file, we get a 403 error message. Only .md and .pdf files are allowed. So what we could try to do, for example, is try to just add PDF to the end. But it's going to tell us that this file does not exist. So there is this thing in uh, uh, penetration testing that we call a null byte. So um, I'm, what this null byte pretty much is, is a percent sign and then a null, uh, two, annual, two zeros uh, after each other. And this null byte is going to tell the interpreter in the back end that it's going to be able to ignore everything that comes behind it. So when we try this, for example, um, the server is going to read our URL and it's going to read the first part um, and it's going to download this but the filter is going to read the whole part and it's going to see a PDF file um, and this is an allowed extension. So when we try to do this, for example, we are still not going to be able to do it because everything we try has to be URL encoded, of course, and a percent sign URL encoded equals percent 25. So what we're doing is we're saying this equals a percent sign, percent zero, zero, so a null byte, and then we put an allowed extension behind it. This way the extension will not be picked up by the filter that is uh, not allowing us to download the file, but it will be ignored by the download script itself. So when we try this, as you guys can see, we get the coupons file, um, and that's a different file. We get the coupons file as expected. Now we can of course also try this with other files, so we just copy this and we go back to the FTP directory there are some other files in here so this one can also be downloaded the YAML file cannot be downloaded either so we just download that as well then we move on to the GD file let's download that as well and we can also try the PyC file and the package.json.back file so that's pretty much how you can subvert some file uh, type filters, some file type extension filters. This also works when you upload some files. So this works when downloading files, this can work when uploading files. Of course it won't work on every server, but this is a trick I wanted to show you guys. I hope this can help some of you and I hope I'll see you in the next video. If this video added some value to your life, please remember to like and subscribe really helps you with the YouTube algorithm and I hope I'll see you in the next time. Bye!